you students the next topic we have here is floating elements it is possible to displace an element out of its position in the normal flow via the css float property okay so css is giving us a property known as float which will help us to float the elements in a particular document out of its position whether you want it to the left or whether you want it to the right or you want it to to the center you can do so by using the float property okay it means to far left or far right of its containing block and rest of the content is reflowed around the floated element okay so the remaining content what is there it will just to reflow uh, again uh, across the element which is being floated okay so the content which is there as the main element moves from left to right the remaining contents will just reflow according uh, uh, to that uh, floated element okay so let us see an example of how to use the float property okay we have an example here it's not much clear uh, you all can check it out in your textbook for more clearance here we have the heading float example then we have a paragraph and then we have your figure okay we have your figure written the properties under figure is border one point solid okay background color then you have margin zero padding is there width is specified okay so whenever you want a particular element to float you have to specify the width of that floating element so the width given here is 150 pixel so they're saying that notice that a floated block level element must have a width specified okay so next it will be figure width 150 pixel float left okay so you can see that the element which is there it will float to the extreme left by using which property here float property then below for the third figure you have here width 150 pixel float right margin is 10 pixel so you have to specify the width for that particular floating element and the direction it is floating to the right also a mar margin is being specified for that figure and that is 10 pixel so this is uh, about floating elements by using the float property the next sub topic we have here is floating with a container a uh, float will help to move left or right of its container also called as a container block okay so here we'll have a container block in that that particular element will be moving left or right okay and that container is called as a container block in above figure container is html document itself so figures move left or right of the browser window so the previous example which we had seen for floating element there the container block was the html document itself so the element which was floating was moving left or right of the browser window only okay not of any other block in below example the floated figure is contained within an article element that is indented from the browser's edge okay so here we can see that in the previous example the container block in which the element was floating was the browser window itself now they are saying that the container block can be other html elements also that means a particular element can float within another html element and in which it is floating that block is known as a container block so in the next example we'll be seeing that an element will be floating within an article element okay that means a floated figure is contained within an article element that is indented from the browser's edge so this is floating with a container and that container can be another html element we'll see an example for this here we have article then we have uh, headings paragraphs figure again we have paragraphs so we can see here uh, we have a article here article background color is given margin is given padding is given okay so this figure also is having its property border background color padding width float margin and so on so what this will be doing is this particular figure will be floating within an article element okay it is floating within an article element so that article element becomes a container block 
and you are using which CSS float property here you are using float property itself for moving the uh, figure to the left or to the right so this is a very simple topic as to show that floating with a container where the container can be a browser window or it can be an another article or another HTML element the next topic we have here is floating multiple items side by side so multiple figures are there in our documents which are placed side by side and that too within a article document article element okay so you can see here the example here uh, the container block is article in that you have multiple figures inside that single article and here the figure for every element you have to specify the width here or for a floating element and for the floating element width given here is 150 pixel and it is floating to the left okay so whenever the window uh, of that particular uh, element goes on resizing or the browser window goes on resizing the elements which are floating they will try to occupy the space to the side of the elements okay that means if they are at the left and if there is space at the right as the window goes on resizing they will try to occupy the space to the right of it as it is written here as the window resizes the content in the containing block that is the article element will try to fill the space that is available to the right of the floated elements okay so as the window resizes it goes on taking the space of the other floating elements to the right of the floating elements so what they have shown here is multiple items can be floated side by side okay and as the window goes on resizing they will occupy the space to the left or to the right of the floated elements next we have here is the clear property okay so how we have a float property for floating the elements to the left as well as to the right there is one more property known as the clear property which you can use in an html document and this clear property has four values like how float property has left and right so clear property also has four values which are those four values left right both none okay so if a particular element is having the value uh, clear property value left that means the left hand edge of the element cannot be adjacent to another element okay that means the left hand of the element okay it cannot be adjacent to some another element that means its left hand side should be clear and it cannot be adjacent to another element the left hand side of it okay then if the clear property value is right the right hand edge of the element cannot be adjacent to another element that means its right side of that particular element cannot be adjacent to another element that means its right side should be clear okay and if you have specified the clear property value both both the left hand and right hand edges of the element cannot be adjacent to another element that means to its left to its right right side of the edges cannot be adjacent to another element and if you are space uh, if you are specifying the clear property value as none the element can be adjacent to other elements okay the elements can be adjacent to other elements that means it can move to the left also to its left you can have other elements to its right also you can have some other elements or that elements can be adjacent to other elements so clear property uh, can be used for a particular html element and for that clear property how many values we have four values left right both and none so this clear property you can use in an html document in the same way as that of an uh, float property the next topic we have is containing floats another problem that can occur with floats is when an element is floated within a containing block that contains only floated content okay so when you have a container and in that container you have a floating element then there are some problems that will occur for that containing block not the floated element okay for example if the container block is an article or something like that and the figure is uh, the floating element then there might be some uh, settings that might be uh, have that might get a problem in the containing block not the floating content in this in that case the containing block essentially disappears so the uh, features which will be have added for the containing block those will disappear 
those will disappear because of the floating content okay for example in the below figure the figure containing block contains only an image and a figure caption element and both of these elements are floated to the left okay so we have a uh, figure uh, element here and it has only a figure and a figure caption element and both of these elements are floated to the left that means both elements have been removed from the normal flow from the browser's perspective since the figure contains no uh, normal flow content it essentially has nothing in it hence it has a content height of 0 okay so its background which will be there that means the content of the containing block which is there it is content height will normally become 0 because of the floating element inside it okay so whenever this happens the best solution for this problem is to use overflow property overflow property sees to that the features of the containing block remains intact even if the floating content moves from left to right okay so we have an example here we have your containing block article in that figure is there okay and then after that figure in the figure we have a particular image and a figure caption and then we have a paragraph so you can see here uh, the figure has border here the below one which is there here the first in the first code in the first features uh, you have figure uh, image okay width float margin is there then the properties for figure caption it has width float left okay then the properties which are there for the figure that is border background color padding width margin these are shrunk down to zero okay the figure properties are the back which is there they are shrunk down to zero because the content within it is being floated extremely to the left content means the image and its content okay Fig uh, the image and the figure caption has been moved to the left because of this its background what is there that is the border background padding it has all shrunk down to zero okay so So this is known as disappearing parent content containers okay so the parent containers whatever features are there they have got disappeared okay so in that time what you have to do is you have to use here the overflow property the overflow property so in the previous diagram what has happened is here the background what is there the background border what we had that has shrunk totally to zero you can see here there is a red line here okay red arrow so the border the background color the padding width margin has been shrunk because of it is having within itself a floating content okay floating content and because of that its feature has got shrunk to zero so that uh, what you have to do is uh, they have shown here when that is the case you have to use what property here the overflow property which is written in red okay overflow property and here they have given the value is auto setting the overflow property to auto solves the problem so you can see here in the diagram behind that figure and the figure caption the border background color padding width margin all the features have been kept intact okay so this problem occurs when a particular container block has an element which is floating whether it is the image or whether it is the figure caption because of it it moves from the normal flow and the feature of that particular container block which is there that disappears so that container blocks features should not disappear you have to make use of which property here overflow property and that its value is auto okay in the previous example here the background has all shrunk to zero and in the next example when you use overflow as auto the features of the container block comes back okay comes back means it remains intact that means the parent block okay parent block is the container block and which is the child block child block is the floating content okay so this is uh, containing and this is about containing floats the next topic we have here is overlaying and hiding elements one of the most common design task with CSS is to place two elements on top of each other okay uh, two elements on top of each other is known as overlaying 
or to selectively hide and display elements okay and while doing this uh, process positioning is important for both the task okay so in css using css we would like to have two elements on top of each other known as overlaying or we would want some elements to be hidden or to be uh, hidden or displayed okay so for those properties uh, positioning is important for both the task positioning is nothing but we have studied different types of positioning absolute positioning relative positioning and fixed positioning so when you are doing this task of overlaying and hiding of elements positioning of elements is also very important so we can see here an example we have here figure element in the figure element we have an image okay and then we have a figure caption british museum image source is also there okay two images are there one is of the british museum and the another image is there known as new banner dot png okay alt is used we have given space class is equals to overlaid so we are making use of a class selector and it is overlaid for this class selector overlaid position is absolute Okay, it's an absolute position and top is 10 pixels and left is 10 pixels okay and this uh, this image which you have chosen the second image which we have chosen for class overlaid it is a transparent area it is a transparent area with a banner like this known as new and this image is new banner dot png okay so uh, overlaid on this element is the british museum image so we have two images here one image is of the british museum and the another image is the transparent area known as new banner dot png so we have two images here overlaid on each other overlaid on each other that means one is of british museum and one is a transparent area with a new banner there okay so by using this uh, property uh, display none okay display none that is dot overlaid position top left the one with the red test display none this hides the overlaid image this hides the overlaid image by using which property here display property otherwise you can also use a selector known as uh, hide class selector known as hide inside that hides selector also you can make use of the display property and that display property value also is none so in this way you can hide and display the overlaid image okay you can hide and display the overlaid image here next there are two different ways to hide elements in css okay so two different ways to hide elements in css one is known as the display property it takes an item out of the flow element flow element to no longer exist if you are making use of a display property to hide elements in CSS, it takes an item out of the flow, but the element no longer exists. Okay, it no longer exists. And then you have the visibility property. It hides the element, but the space for that element remains. Okay, that space which will be there, that space is remembered by the other elements in that document. Okay. So, to hide elements in CSS, how many properties are there? Two properties, which are the display property and visibility property. The difference between the two properties is that in display property, if you are uh, hiding a particular element, that element will no longer exist in that document. But if you are using a visibility property for hiding the element, the space for that element remains. Okay. So, let us see an example. Here we have... Here we have an image here, British Museum image and a particular two lines of paragraph. So for the figure, you have given a property display and it is auto. Displays auto means uh, the uh, floating image, floating image and its container block. The settings of that remains intact. Okay, it is intact there. Displays auto. And here once you say display is none display is none the image is no longer there in the document it is completely removed from the document okay and if you are using the visibility property visibility property is hidden if you are using the visibility property for hiding a particular element the space remains 
okay the space remains so we are using two properties here for hiding one is the display property and the other is the visibility property if you are mentioning display property for hiding of the elements it is completely removed from the document and if you are using visibility property here the space remains